This is a video instructional for the OSCE on breast examination. Before you do the breast exam, greet the patient and introduce yourself to the patient. Explain the purpose and conduct of the examination. Use language or vocabulary that is appropriate and understandable for the patient. Note that if you have already introduced yourself during the initial interview or history taking, then you don't have to introduce yourself again. For the breast exam, ask your patient to undress down to the waist behind a curtain and provide blanket to cover. For the general inspection, ask your patient to sit upright on the edge of the bed with her hands relaxed and placed on her thighs or on the side. Ask your patient to uncover her breast and note for presence of any of the following. Any obvious masses, swelling or scars, skin changes, nipple changes, or asymmetry. Next, you ask your patient to place her hands on her hips and push inwards to tense the pectoralis major. Then repeat the inspection as before. So you note for any obvious masses, swelling or scars, skin changes, nipple changes, or asymmetry. If a mass is noted, observe if the mass moves with the pectoralis muscle. This is known as tethering, which suggests malignancy. Next, you ask your patient to place both her hands behind her head, or you can also ask your patient to raise her hands. So you repeat the inspection as before. You inspect the breast tissue for any masses, asymmetry, dimpling, or pluckering. And finally, you ask your patient to lean forward, keeping her hands behind her head or on the side. Then you inspect. Inspect the breast tissue for any masses, asymmetry, dimpling, and pluckering. For the palpation, you have to ensure to warm your hands first before touching the patient and examine the normal asymptomatic breast first. Position the patient on the bed either at a 45 degree angle or lying flat on bed and ask the patient to place her hand on the side being examined behind her head. Squeeze the nipple gently to check for any discharge. Note the color, amount, odor, and consistency of the discharge. For the examination of the breast tissue, use a systematic approach to ensure all areas of the breast are examined. You can use any of the following methods. You can use the clock face method, spiral method, the vertical strips method, or the pie method. For the purpose of this OSCE, we will use the spiral method. So when using the spiral method, you use the finger pads of your three fingers of one hand to compress the breast tissue against the chest wall and feel for any masses. Press downward using a circular motion. Apply steady pressure, pushing down to the level of the chest wall. Apply enough pressure to palpate to the three levels of depth. If a mass is palpated, describe it according to the following characteristics. Describe it by position, size and shape, consistency, whether it's smooth, firm, stony, rubbery, or spongy, mobility, fluctuance, and overlying skin changes. Now we proceed with the examination of the axilla. So we palpate the axilla with a free hand, ensuring to cover all areas of the axilla, which are the medial, lateral, anterior, and posterior walls, and including the apex of the axilla. And lastly, we perform a general lymph node examination of the following areas. So we palpate the cervical lymph nodes, the supraclavicular lymph nodes, the infraclavicular lymph nodes, 
and the parasternal lymph nodes. So after the breast exam, you cover the patient up with a blanket or sheet and allow the patient to dress up in private. After which, you explain the findings to the patient, entertain and answer questions for the patient, and lastly, thank the patient after the examination.